not gonna do this on both sides because it's the same process on both sides. But we're going to disassemble this fork because like I said, we're gonna be powder coating the fork lowers black and the cowbells. Cowbells are pretty easy to get off, but for you guys that don't know how to disassemble a fork, it's pretty much the same process for any Harley or anything with a fork built similar to this. Probably most crappy motorcycles. Um, you want to be careful with this because the uh, four springs there, it's under pressure. It's going to want to snap off. This one probably will. It'll probably shoot across the room. In the smart way. There's one stock fork spring with some completely beat oil. Okay. We'll just put that there and make a mess. And pour out the rest of the oil, which probably isn't much. Yeah, that's how much oil is leaked out of these forks. There's a little valve. You won't have these valves in pretty much any other Dyna, Sportster, unless they have race sticks in them. The touring bikes after 2006 have these little cartridge emulators already in them, which is kind of cool, even though they're not that great. But if you run them with a decent spring, they actually function okay. After you get that done, You can take your damper rod out. This is not a quarter inch. If you use a quarter inch in there, you try to use a quarter inch, you're gonna strip it. It's metric, it's a six millimeter. You want, want to crack this open before you uh, pull the spring out just so it has some pressure on it, but this one was already loose, so. Actually came out pretty easy. You just heard the damper rod fall and hit the ground. Here's your damper rod. A top out spring. Set those there. Damper rod bolt. Should have a little copper washer on there. It's probably stuck underneath there. We'll spray it out with some brake cleaner in a little bit. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to get this tube out of your fork lower and get your fork seal out. There's a little retaining ring in here. Do you wanna show them? It's probably kinda of hard to see it, but there's a little ring right here. A clip, I guess you would say. And pop that out. And you pull up on the tube, and the seal should pop out. Fork seal. This is your fork lower. This is what's gonna be getting powder coated. Before you take them in, they there is like a little, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's like a little metal cap looking thing. It's part of your damper rod, it goes under the fork tube. Make sure you don't leave this in here because you'll take it to your powder coat guy. It'll fall out after he sandblasts it. And if you're not paying attention or you haven't done this a few times, you might try to put it back together with this and it's gonna cause a whole lot of problems. Not together with this, without this, but yeah. All right, that's how you disassemble a fork. When I put the other ones back together, maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't, I don't know.